ओशियन जोनिंग और जोनिंग ऑफ द ओशियन आई विल बी ड्राइंग सर्टेन डायग्राम्स विच यू आर ऑल्सो सपोज टू ड्रॉ एंड देन I mean, these discussions are only basic concepts. They shall not be asked for your mains, and whenever required, I will giving you certain dictations for your mains. Then it will be uh, my my booklet will be uploaded, and some of my old notes will be also uh, old old meaning the last batch notes will be uploaded also. But uh, most of the things things you will be writing in class also. Now in ocean zoning, there are certain criteria taken. So the first criteria is. on the basis of penetration penetration of the sun rays penetration of the sun rays now penetration of the sun rays meaning how deep the sun rays can the insulation can enter the ocean meaning do you will you will have some dark zone you will have some semi dark zone you will have some bright zone in the ocean so obviously the surface part will be bright the middle part will be having diffused lights and when you go uh, deeper in the ocean you will find the dark zone or the biological deserts now see here with the help of diagram you can always understand you can always appreciate so this is your ocean bottom ocean bottom this the sea level that is 0 0 km sea level is 0 km why it is 0 km because water water will have a surface water always occupy the surface so the flattest part of the Uh, uh, of the globe will be the sea level not the land land will be very uneven undulating so sea level now from the sea level till the depth of 100 fathoms or 200 meters there are two criteria either you take measurement in fathom or you take in uh, uh, in meters so you have this is called the photic zone this is your photic zone photic zone in me photons the active sun rays so photo photic zone will be the active zone of sun rays so most of the bio, bio productivity and biological activities will be uh, in the photic zone now second will be diasphotic this is called diasphotic zone this is your diasphotic zone diasphotic zone will be having diffused lights and this extends up to 1000 meters or 600 fathoms one fathom is 6 feet or 1.83 meters please remember 1.83 meters or 6 feet is called one fathom so when you calculate by 1.83 it becomes only 183 meters but somehow the oceanographers have taken 200 meter criteria so the measurement of 100 fathom and 200 meters are different they are not equal but yet i mean both have been taken as criteria 100 fathom will be taken in the british british measurements and europe uses fathom but if you go to united states the universities are using 200 meters and we are also following the meter criteria okay so this is your diasphotic zone and then you have a photic zone you have the a photic zone now if you come to the bottom of the ocean so this will be 6000 meters or maybe you can call it 3000 fathoms 3000 fathoms or 600 meters so uh 100 sorry 100 to 1000 to 6000 three lines three depth lines have been taken now as we take these three we have three zones now photic diasphotic now some of the books even your internet they will show it diasphotic plus a photic together they also call it a photic and rightly so 
and rightly so because in this zone the life is not found and they are called biological deserts and the sun rays are not active so the bioproductivity is not there especially the primary production is not there primary production by plants and some of the planktons so life of the planktons are not found here photic zone may you will have planktons and most of the life bubbling there so this photic zone is also called planktonic zone planktonic zone we can call it planktonic zone as well now this is on the basis of the penetration of sun rays 